Good afternoon, Dusty Sonnenberg, Field Leader with Ohio's Country Journal and the Ohio Agnet. We are on the Ohio Field Leader Roadshow. We find ourselves in Marion County today. I'm visiting with John Buck. John, thanks for having us out today. Tell us a little bit about the farm, how it all started, and some of the crop you raised. Well, I started with my grandpa back in the 1930s here at this farmstead, and then my dad took over, and then I took over in 1999 when my dad passed away. So we raised corn, wheat, and soybeans here. Very good. Uh, tell us a little bit, if you will, you do a lot of different things, uh, raising the crops and trying to find that edge, working with different products. Tell us about some of the products you represent, sort of how you got started with uh, looking at biologicals and other things. When uh, I first took over the farm, you know, we're obviously doing the same things over and over, and that's what guys have been doing. And I realized that I'm not, the opportunity to grow a lot of acres isn't there in this area. We've got a lot of competition for ground, so how can I do a better job on the farm that I currently have and we own? A chunk of the farm you know here so how can i improve soil health and everything else so started looking at different things and actually started contracted with different companies to help bring their products here to the, maybe into the united states or companies from the united states for biologicals i really feel that's the next place that we're going to grow and see the big influx in the united states and how we can change the game a little bit so for the products you're working with how are those applied are they something done on seed are they something in planning is it foliar for folks that don't know, how are typically that getting that into the system? Well, there's a wide gamut out there. A lot of what I'm doing is seed applied. It's whether it's going for a seed treater and or it's just planter box and applied in seed at that point. We're finding that a lot of biologicals, the more the closer they are to the seed at the time of germination or on the seed is where the place to be. There's a lot of things we can do foliar there too. So that's that market's growing and developing. A lot of different things that cause stress on the farm, stress to crops. Biologicals may get a chance to help relieve some of that stress on crops. Absolutely, and there's a lot of products out there that help with that stress relief and that mitigation of things. And one might be for drought, drought tolerance, and like we saw this year, super wet, 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 and then all of a sudden in June we went as dry as we could. And you know, I'm a firm believer that some of the biologicals that are out there, like mycorrhizal fungi and other products, help with that mitigation and Basically, it's, it feels like an insurance program that, that, hey, I've got a little bit of chance here to help me if this turns off dry or if it's sensibly planted. Again, we are with John Buck. We are in Marion County, the Ohio Field Leader Roadshow. John, thanks again for your time. Thank you.